What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Raise. Netflix is officially working on 365 Days 2. After the streaming platform licensed and released 365 Days around the world in 2020, the movie has become a fan favorite. So while we wait for the second part, let's get to know the cast a little better. Also, keep watching to find out about the new additions of the cast that will completely change the film's plot. Mikel Maroney I'm gonna exactly is Mikel Maroney. The 365 DNI lead actor has risen to fame with the role of Massimo in the film, and fans can't get enough of the handsome and talented Italian star. The Polish film 365 DNI was released in 2020 in international theaters. However, the film wasn't really popular until it was released on Netflix. We should also mention that 365 Days is based on the book by the same name. So let's continue with the Italian actor Mikel Maroney. As we all know, he plays the lead role of the mafia boss in this film. But the 30-year-old actor has acted in other films before 365 DNI. They were mostly Polish films, so the rest of the world found out about him by his role in 365 Days. Now, probably one of the most asked questions about Maroney is whether the actor is single. You'll be surprised to know that Maroney is single now, but was married for quite some time. He was married to fashion designer named Ruba Sadea. Ruba Sadea is the founder of Le Paradis des Faux, a famous brand. According to the 30-year-old fashion designer's bio from her Instagram account, she is now working with the renowned Eli Saab. Mikel Maroney and Ruba Sadea got married in 2014, and they knew each other for a year before deciding to celebrate their love by marriage. Ruba's Instagram suggests that the couple truly enjoyed their relationship until they decided to separate in 2018. The couple has two boys together, Marcus Moroni and Brado Moroni. And according to many reports, they agreed to the mutual consent of their kids. Nevertheless, Moroni is now single. Well, gals, what are you waiting for? Anna Maria Sekluka. What's going on? What's going on? As for the female lead of the film, Anna Maria Sekluka, she's one year younger than Maroni, as she's 29. Most fans thought she was dating Mikel Maroni because their on-screen chemistry is so strong. So are the lead stars hiding something from their fans? Are they in a secret relationship? Keep watching to find out. As we previously said, 365 Days is based on the best-selling novel of the same name and is the first installment in a trilogy, meaning we're going to get two more films in the following years. Since the film's release, fans have been wondering if Anna Maria Sekluka and Mikel Maroni are dating in real life. Mikel plays Don Massimo Torcelli, a mafia boss, and Anna Maria plays Laura Beale, a corporate executive. Well, we're sorry to disappoint you, but Anna Maria Sekluka is not dating Mikel Maroni, but the Polish actress is not single either. According to a post on her Instagram account captioned, one private and there will be no more. Peace and love. She's dating and and she's very much in love with the guy in the photo. But she still hasn't confirmed anything yet. However, she has mentioned several times that she is seeing someone. This only confirms that sadly, Anna Maria Sekluka and Mikel Maroni are not dating. Since Anna hasn't tagged the lucky fellow in the photo, details about him are not known yet. Maybe she'll take him to the premiere of 365 Days 2 and we'll finally learn more about this lucky guy. Ready to find out more about the cast of 365 Days? Well, prepare for some Something quite surprising. Iwalina Pelagaza. Iwalina is an actress known for her role in 365 Days. Because of her success in the film, she might make more appearances in the film in the future. And it seems like her career has taken a great turn as she's been cast in the Polish TV series Sexify. This might open some new doors for the talented actress, and we truly want to see more of her in the future. Now, Iwalina is truly living her life as private as possible as there are no pieces of information neither for her age nor for her love life. However, with her appearance in the second film, we hope we'll learn more about her. Her. Nevertheless, from what we found, it looks like the actress is single. Nataza Urbanska. Born and 
raised in Poland. Nataza is 43 years old and she has become famous in the last few years. In 2020, she rose to fame with her role in Netflix 365 Days. She is also expected to come back in the second part of the film that brought connections to Fifty Shades of Grey. The 43-year-old actress is happily married to Janusz Józewicz, a Polish director, choreographer, actor, and dancer. The couple got married in 2008 and they have one daughter together, Kaline, that was born in December 2008. Magdalena Lamparska. <laughs> Yeah, my plans go 365 Days Part 2 and Part 3 will see the return cast of Mikel Maroney and Anna Maria Sekluka, joined by Magdalena Lamparska and Otar Sarah Lidzi. Magdalena's career started in 2010 as she has appeared in many TV shows and movies so far. But you probably didn't know that Lamparska is also a pretty talented singer. The 33-year-old actress is married to Bartek Ozamek, and the couple has one child together, Timutuj. Otar Sarah Lidzi. Anna Maria Sekluka and Otar Sarah Lidzi surprised fans when Anna shared a lot of images on social media where she was wearing a wedding dress. From the photos, it seemed like she was getting married to her 365 DNI co-star Otar Saralidzi. But fans were relieved when it was confirmed that Anna Maria and Otar did not get married in real life. So let's explain the whole situation. The two actors took part in a new project for Ania Zukowska and designer Marta Trojanowska. And the whole idea of the project was to help the wedding industry Industry during the pandemic. We wanted to do a session that would finally be alive, in which there will be emotions. Anna Maria stated. So when it comes to Otar, he also rose to fame thanks to his role in 365 Days. If you wondered if he's dating, the 30-year-old actor is very much single. Simone Cecina. As we previously said, the story of Laura and Massimo is not over yet, as two other films should be released in 2022 and 2023. What's really interesting is that another young Italian actor will join the cast in the sequel, 27-year-old Simone Susina. Simone is a model and has always dreamed of becoming an actor. Thankfully, his dream is about to come true. Simone Cecina will play the character Marcelo Nacho Matos, and he'll try to ruin Laura and Massimo's relationship. But who's really Nacho? Well, Laura will be kidnapped by Nacho in the second film, and Nacho will try to win her heart. So, 365 Days 2 will be focused on a love triangle in which we're going to see Laura deciding between Nacho and Massimo. When it comes to surprising things concerning the plot of the sequel, we also need to mention Massimo's evil twin, Adriano, who will also cause some struggles for Laura and Massimo in the second film of the franchise. But let's talk about Simone Cecina. The model was born and raised in Sicily, and he has a lot of accomplishments in the model industry now. We're ready to see his debut as an actor. When it comes to his love life, Cecina was in a long relationship with Mariana Rodriguez, and a According to many reports, they were really close to getting married, but that never happened. In 2020, there were some rumors that the actor is dating the Spanish model, Ana Moya, but that was never confirmed. So it looks like the actor is single or very good at hiding his love life. Who's your favorite actor from 365 Days? Also, what do you guys want to see in the sequel? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.